All right, hello everybody. This is uh, Abra here with another Project Spark tutorial. Um, today we are going to be covering twin stick shooters. Um, should be a lot of fun, and they're very, very simple to create in Project Spark. So the first thing to create a twin stick shooter is I've just loaded, I've created an empty world here, and I actually I disabled the the ambient wind sound. Uh, because it's uh, annoying, especially on a stream. So let's just load this up, and we'll just we're just going to delete the entire brain for this character, right? And now what we want to do is we want to always move. Well, not always, actually. When left stick, sorry. When left stick, move with strafing, right? And that's going to create our basic movement with the left stick. Now that that's in place, we simply create a, we're going to create a boom camera here. Okay. And we're going to set uh, a distance of, uh, let's say, 15. Again, you can play with this number. It depends on how far, how close or far you want the camera to be. Okay. We're also going to do a pitch. And again, if you want it 100% top down, um, I believe it, it should be 90. Uh, but I don't really want that. I want close to top down, but not truly a top down camera. All right. And that's 60. And then this last one here. Um, this is actually the yaw. And this value really needs to be 270. This is a 270 degrees. Um, and this places the camera uh, directly behind the player. So let's just see what this does. Um, okay, so... Here we are, all right, and you'll see it's actually in front of the player, <laughs> right? But move up, down, left, right, okay? We're actually gonna be turning our player so that he's facing the other way to start off because otherwise uh, uh, we the it's the right stick. We need the camera facing this way. Um, otherwise the right stick controls start to get a little bit goofy and you're gonna have to really play with the, the values if you want the camera facing a different way. Uh, which is possible, but you're going to have to take what this tutorial shows and, and make some adjustments, right? Um, so here, let's let's flip them around. Turn on grid snap. Again, hold down on the D-pad for a second to turn on grid snap, if you don't already know that. And we're just going to flip them around like that, 180 degrees. Okay? So now he's going to start off facing the right direction. And now, we're going to say when uh, right trigger all right shoot okay <laughs> so just when right trigger is pressed shoot no big deal right do that hold the right trigger oh look at this okay so so far really easy but the problem is our right stick isn't doing anything so how do we get the right stick to uh, turn the player in the direction that we're holding it? Well, this is going to be a little bit weird. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me here. But what we want to do is when right stick, okay, when the right stick is moved, okay, uh, now we're going to create some uh, temporary uh, uh, variables. I'm going to create a vector here. So, uh, okay. I'm going to, I think I'm going to code this and then maybe, ex you know, try to explain it as I'm coding it, but it's going to be easier once we're, once you see the end result. So, um, yeah. Vector. Let's get a new vector variable here. And we're going to call this uh, right stick 
position. Okay. Right stick position. And now we're going to say right stick position X. Yes. Right stick position X is going to be equal to the right sticks position on the x axis. If you look if you remember my uh, one of my other tutorials in the side scroller tutorial, I mentioned how there are there are components as an x and a y component to each of your sticks and they move between 1 and negative 1 as you move the stick left and right and as you move the stick up and down, it will affect the the y value. Okay? So we're going to take this and I'm going to paste this in here, all right? And instead of uh, right stick position X, this is where I actually do something a little bit weird, okay? Because the problem is the right stick only has X and Y components, but I actually need to map the Y component to the Z axis in this vector variable. And you'll see why in just in, in a moment. If we map it to the Y, we're gonna be trying to look up it, it, at a position and and that that doesn't really that that doesn't work okay so now we're gonna create another uh, vector variable and we're gonna call this um, all right um, now we can call this whatever we want really vector it's called looking at position I'm just going to call it right stick look position. Okay? And this is going to be equal to this is what we're doing is we're going to be put, taking a point in 3D space and we're going to be looking at it. So position plus right stick position what the variable the vector variable we just created here okay and then finally we're going to say turn toward and then we're going to say this right stick look position all right so what i'm going to i'm going to show you that this I'm going to just test it make sure i didn't mess anything up here um, but the idea is now as I move my right stick around, the character will look at the place where I'm, where I move my right stick and, and as I shoot, well, he just shoots straight, right? And that is how you create a twin stick shooter. All right. Now, just to uh, elaborate just a little bit so you understand. Oh, wow. I got some downloads. <laughs> All right. Um, just so you understand what's going on here, what we're doing is we're taking um, the, well, let's say, <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's say this volleyball represents the player, okay? <laughs> this is the player's position. This is what we've, what we've got over here, okay? This right stick position. And then we're saying this position plus the right stick position. And remember, it's a value between one and negative one. So what's going on is based on your, your right stick, you've got a, a, a value, you've got a... Uh, sorry, the right stick is, cr we're creating a new position that's anywhere is it at a 360 degree circle around this volleyball, right? We're creating a new position in 3D space. And then in this last line, all we're doing is we're looking at it, right? I don't know if that makes any sense. Hopefully it will. Um, the code is fairly straightforward here. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, all right? This is uh, Abra signing off, and uh, have a nice day.